And now, the Mole Mystery Theater, presented by M-O-L-L-E. Mole, the heavier brushless shaving cream for tough whiskers or a tender skin. Good evening. This is Jeffrey Barnes, welcoming you to the Mole Mystery Theater, the program that presents the best in mystery and detective fiction. Tonight's story by Joseph Ruscoe features the return of our Mystery Theater's most popular comedy character, Kenny Angle, the delightful little Broadway tout who has an angle for every situation but always lands behind the eight ball. And Carl Eastman will again play the title role. In tonight's story, Kenny Angles and the Queen of Diamonds, Kenny's troubles are started by a play written by a 17th century French playwright, Jean Racine. I remember that name, Jean Racine. For only Kenny Angles could get into hot water because of the works of a man who died two and a half centuries ago. Well, Mr. Barnes, some fellas get into trouble the hard way and some do it the easy way. For instance, it's a cinch to get into shaving trouble if you have tough whiskers or a tender skin. But not if you shave with Mole, the heavier brushless shaving cream. Because with Mole, it's smooth. So smooth. It's slick. So slick. It's a smooth, smooth, slick, slick shave you get with M-O-L-L-E. Mole, the heavier brushless shaving cream for tough whiskers or a tender skin. And now for tonight's Mole mystery, Kenny Angles and the Queen of Diamonds. Such things should happen to me. To me, Kenny Angles. I always know in the right time, a gimmick or two. So why am I always landing behind the eight ball? You're laughing, huh? It's something to laugh. They're going to chop me up a hamburger, you hear? A hamburger. <laughs> Only a couple of days ago, everything's normal, see? Keeping my nose clean, this and that, doing the best I can with a scratch sheet. When, lo, I'm picked up at the racetrack, bum rush to police headquarters where Inspector Macy seizes me with a most amazing remark. All right. Angle yourself out of this, Kenny. Where is the Queen of Diamonds? Hmm? The Queen of Diamonds, where is she? Where is she? Who is she? Who is she? You tell me. Tell me that, too. Who and where is she? My goodness, it's double talk. Who and where is the Queen of Sheba? Of diamonds, Kenny Angle. I'm talking about diamonds and a gang of international jewel thieves you're mixed up with, see? Me? <laughs> hey, this is like a dream, like, like a crazy looking glass. Inspector, remember me? I am just a simple horse player. I don't even know what you're talking about. Oh, no. Well, I'm talking about a jewel ring that smuggled a million dollars in hot rocks out of the country in the past year. Famous heirlooms that no fence would touch with a ten-foot pole. A ring headed by a mysterious dame we long been trying to lay our hands on called the Queen of Diamonds. We believe you can tell us her identity. Me? Huh. My goodness. Did this like a double feature? Who is the Queen of Diamonds, Kenny? You tell me. I can use a buck myself. Oh. Uh, Kenny... You were at Mindy's last night at 7 p.m.? Yeah. So what? So you just cooked your own goose. You corroborate the testimony of another weirdy I'm holding on suspicion, Kakai Romanov. Kakai Romanov? Yes, who confesses under oath that you accosted him at Mindy's at 7 o'clock last night and promised that for a fee you could put him next to a fortune, something real hot. Whereupon you whispered into his ear, the Queen of Diamonds. The Queen of Diamonds? The Queen of Diamonds. Angle your way out of that, Kenny. <laughs> Holy cow, so that's what... Inspector, that was a horse running at Hylia in the third. Uh, what? A long shot, a hundred to one bet. Honest, check it. Go ahead, get a racing form. I will, corkscrew. Don't worry. Oh, wait till I tell this one to Mr. Farple. Yeah, you better consult your shyster lawyer, because even if I see it, I won't believe it. And I still think you know more than you're willing to tell. Get it? A lot more. Now, now, get out of here. <laughs> hey, what do you think of that, Mr. Farble? Ain't that a hot one? 
Did you ever hear anything? Quiet, I'm thinking. Yeah, but... Get stricken dumb. But I'm absolutely in the clear, ain't I? I don't know. Take your feet off my desk. Oh, sure. So there was a long shot named the Queen of Diamonds? Yeah. You think Inspector Macy will let it go with that? It smells a new rash of trouble. So cut out my heart. What do I know about jewel thieves? Well, Mr. Farfel, you mean this thing's something to worry about? What am I, a crook? Quiet. Get locked, Joe. With me, it comes the hard way. Kenny, tell me before I go out of my mind. Yeah, Mr. Farfel. How do you manage to get in the middle of everything? How is it nothing ever happens without you in a woodpile? How is it I stay out of jail defending a client like you? But, Mr. Farfel, I'm in the clear. In the clear? Don't you realize the inspector is convinced you're mixed up with the Queen of Diamonds gang? Say, so maybe they don't call you angles for nothing. Kenny, I haven't sold your talent short, perhaps? Mr. Farfel. Yeah. Anyhow, he won't rest till he gets you behind bars. Well, I... He'll hound you. Have your tail. No. If you make one false move... Oh, no, no, he... Let go of my lapel. Well, what do you advise me to do? Take gas. Develop pneumonia. Oh, tell me, Mr. Farfel. Advise me. All right. Get out of my lap. Can you stay out of trouble for 24 hours? It's a crucial period. Just 24 hours, Kenny. Sure, how? Stay away from the angles. You're known haunts. Lay off races, pool rooms, two-headed quarters. Go somewhere you can't get into trouble and phone me every hour. Go to a... Uh, a library, maybe. A lot? That's it. What a brainstorm. A library. What can possibly happen to you there? Yeah. Get culture. Go to the public library. Huh? Hey, uh... What's that book you're reading, pal? <clears throat> Merchant of Venice. Mm. Good mystery? Yeah, guy can go nuts in here like a morgue. Say, pal, you think I can get a racing form here? Silence. Pal, do you think I can get a racing? Silence, please. This is a public library. Yeah, it's better than jail. I'm going to speak to that female warden. Maybe she's got one at that. Yes, sir? I'd like... Oh, say, you're the librarian? Librarian, yes. And I've been wasting my time with horses. May I help you? Uh, what do you got in mind? Now, look here, I'm busy. What do you want? Okay, okay, Warden, just pouring out my heart. What I want is a... Do you happen to have a racing... Racine? Huh? Yeah, a racing... Racine. Racine? Shh. Since when? Dance. Here? Shh. Dance. I'm game. I have it for you. Here. Huh? Racine. Oh, that race. Take it. This book. This book? What a form. Stop flirting, Dance. Hmm? Get going. What? Pages 9 to 12. Pages... See, you sure this is it? I wanted... You know, the one that calls all the plays on Racine. Yes, sir. The plays of Racine in one volume. Take the book and scram and don't tip it or you'll get your head knocked off. Get to the airport, quick. Did you ever? I meet a librarian. Right away, she wants to dance. I talk about racing, she makes with racing. I ask for racing form, she gives me a big fat book and tells me to scram. So, in the days, I scram. But just as I stagger out of the library, I snap out of it and I ask myself, what is this? What am I, an errand boy? She wants me to deliver this where? Eh, fat as mustache. And I'm just thinking to throw the book in the gutter when a voice accosts me out of nowhere. <laughs> I say, just a moment, Torpens. Hmm? Dance. You too? Dance. Here in the street? What is this, a craze? Hey, wait, ain't you the merchant of Venice? The guy in the library there? I was just... Bobo, he is not dancing. Hmm? I don't think so, Adam Manuel. But he knew the password, Racine. How? Find out. Hey, put down that gun! Let's have it quick, senor. I know funny business. Hand it over. Oh, my golly, what is this, a stick-up? Funeral, if you're not smart. Hand over that book. Oh, oh. The police... Bobo, the police. You three there, stay where you are. Hands up, free. Don't shoot him, an innocent bystander. By the way, let's make a break for it. Come on. Oh, oh Mama, what did I fall into now? I've got to beat it. Get 
around the corner and I'm safe. Oh, why, Kenny Angles. Blenches Malloy. Hey, where are you rushing? Don't stop me. Hey, wait a minute. No, it's after you. What's that you're carrying? Huh? Am I seeing things? A book? A book? Oh, a book. A the D book. Hey, what's the matter? I don't know, Blenches, but there's something about it. Must be worth the fortune. What? A couple of mugs were just about to bump me off for it. Are you kidding? For this book? For this book. Yeah, hey, let's see it. Hmm. The plays are racing. Oh, a horse book, huh? Yeah, right. Only you call it racing. Racing? Since when? Since that's the high tone way to say it. Hey, Kenny, look. Some pages stuck here. Yeah, three pages. Sort of glued together, huh? From nine to twelve. Yeah, nine to... I... What's the matter? I don't know, but that dame in the library, she warned me something about it, but I, I don't remember what. Such funny things she said, like she says... Don't tip it. Don't tip it. Or I'll get my head knocked off. Very mysterious. So look, I'm tipping it. So what? Such a funny girl. Impulsive, you know? Right away she wants to start dancing. Dancing? Right there in the library? Right there in the library. That's the funniest thing, Blinces. Yeah? Them stick-up guys. One of them I saw reading a mystery in the library. He wanted to dance, too. With the librarian? No, with me. Out in the street. Then his stooge makes with some strange remarks that I don't know how to dance at all. I'm no dancer. That's when they stick me up for this book. But then the cops come shooting, we all take on a lamb, and here I am. Hey, Kenny, you sure your head's wound up right? I begin to wonder. Let's see that horse book again. It's white murder. Why? No, if it was diamonds, I, I could... give it here. You don't trust me, your own pal? Look, we'll both hold on to it. Okay, let's give it the one so. Hmm. What's this? Why, it's a poem. It's all poems. Yeah, what's that got to do with racing? Very mysterious. Let's read one. Maybe it'll give a clue, huh? Yeah. Rash man, where wouldst thou go? Beware thou do not step beyond this spot. I don't get it. Neither do I. Rash man... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah? Holy mackerel, I see it now. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Yes. What did I say that strange librarian warned me or I get my head knocked off? Not the tip. It. Like fun. Don't give away the tip she warned. Huh? Now read read this here first line again. Read it. Go on. Rash man. Stop. Don't you see it now? See what? The angle. I'm a made man, a millionaire. Anyone would commit murder for this book. It is on racing. But it's a secret code of surefire winners. Linces Malloy. Little Rash is running in a sixth at San Anita today. At forty to one. <laughs> Kenny Angles and Blinces Malloy have gone to a bookie joint to place a bet on a horse called Little Rash. As our play resumes, Kenny is in a phone booth calling his lawyer, Alexander Farfel. Hello, Alexander Farfel speaking. Oh, Mr. Farfel, this is Kenny. A miracle. Just Kenny listen. Angles, you, you, crumb, pum, you. I told you to phone me regular every hour. The jam you're in. Where are you? In the phone booth. Suffocate. In the phone booth where? Where? The, the public library has shut me. Oh, what a lucky thing. The library? What's that noise I hear? It sounds like a bookie joint. Now listen, you. Hey, hurry, Kenny. The six just started. By the way, Blitzes, close the door, will you? Listen, Mr. Farfel, I'm in a hurry. I called to say everything's honky, see? Don't worry. What? I'm going to get fabulous. Oh, wait, it all happened like a dream. Ah. For the book. I got it here in the library. I'm reading it now. I'm putting it to the test. Just wait. I got to hang up now. Hey, I... By the neck. Did you know the library surrounded right now by the entire city police force? What? Looking for you. Something for me? And I call you a king to diamond. The key. What have you done there? What no angle? How could you get into such trouble in the library? Go drown yourself. Mr. Farfel. Hey, Kenny, it's over the race and he win it. Who? Little Rash. Little Rash. What did I tell you, Bunches? Hey, Kenny, it is a system. And you wouldn't let me a deuce. Hey, Kenny, uh, let me look at the book again, huh? Give it here. Give you the book. Give him the book. It's yours? Well, I just want to look at it he again. He wants to look at it again. For free, huh? I got a formula here that'll land me in clover. He says he hey, just... Kenny. You wouldn't hold out on a pal. Cut me in on that book. You got ready cash? Uh, Finn. Okay, for five bucks, I'll tell you one page. One page? Okay. Sold. Hey, and that gives me another angle. I got a nice fat book here, and I need a quick turnover. Hey, what are you tearing more about? Listen, spread the word. 
circulate amongst the boys and pass the news. A fin a page to one and all. Hey, what's the matter? Hey, it's a cop. Oh, Inspector Macy, I'm sorry. Hey, give me that. But, Malloy, take your hand away my book. What's this, Malloy? Come back to your teeth. You quick break. I'm looking for Kenny Angle. <laughs> and I want him dead or alive. I've got to get out of here. So, please come with me, no? Huh? Who, who's that behind me? What you doing? No, what? Stick it in my back. A gun. A quick. The back door. March. From the police, I will save you. You? Who are you? Where are you taking me? The name is Dance. Theodore P. Dance. And I am taking you to the Queen of Diamonds. <laughs> Also, we have arrived. Come on, you. Get in. Oh, Mr. Dance, for God's sakes, I tell you. Hey, you're going to hurt my ribs. Uh, and now, the blindfold I shall remove from your eyes. Allow me. Where am I? What are you going to do with me? Listen, I swear, this is some terrible mistake. What would the Queen of Diamonds want with me? Who is she? Uh, so, it is off. Hmm. And here she is. The Queen of Diamonds. Before you. You? It ain't possible. May I help you, sir? <laughs> the librarian. And without the blinders. I say, lovely. What? <laughs> the merchant of Venice. Very sleek, Senor Hijacker. <laughs> and this guy's manual. You two gorillas stuck me up in that, that, that dance character. Oh, man, what are you doing in such company? In my book, I had you down as so... so refined. Shut up. Where is that book? Quick. The, the book? I don't know. Don't talk, eh, Chubby? We'll fix that. Who hired you for the hijacking job? The Ruffles gang? Huh? What? What job? What gang? What are you talking about? Bobo. Your cigarette? Here is a squin. Thank you. What's your name, little man? Kenny Angles. Kenny, I have here a lighted cigarette. Watch it. It's coming slowly towards your nose. Now talk. Where is that book? I don't know. Where is that book? I tell you, I don't know. I, I, I lost it. I, I forget where. It's coming closer. I'm being tortured. Also, where is that book? You had it when I trailed you into that bookie joint. What did you do with that, please? Where is it? Where is it? Well, it, it'll come to me in a minute. Close. Don't worry. You're worrying I give away the tips. You're wrong. My mother's crazy. Close. You say don't give away the tips. My mouth is sealed. Except the little rash with punches. It's right near your nose now. Hey, my nose! Don't! <laughs> He's fainted. Ah, there's three hundred thousand dollars worth of diamonds glued together in the pages of that book. But, but he it... doesn't know that. So what's he holding out for? And what's he done with that book? And all those diamonds. Let's fill them in the diamonds. No. Will that give us the diamonds? You scram to the other room, boys, and leave me alone with this jerk. I'll get results. Uh, I'll do it. I had my best. Yes, yes, my pet. My baby. Hmm? There, there, Where little am I? one, dear. Hmm. Hush, Where am I? hush, you're in my arms, dear. Hmm. It's all right. Oh, the librarian. Yes. Oh, keep doing what you're doing. This is a dream. This is a dream. It's no dream. Hold me tight. Yeah. Who? The Queen of Diamonds? The librarian. Then who's the Queen of Diamonds? Uh, my twin sister. So what happened to your twin sister? Whatever happens to twin sisters? I don't know what happens quick, to... Quick, I must speak to you. Do you know who I really am? Wait a minute. Wait, it all comes back like a mist. Right here in this room. Just now, you were tortured. Shh, just an act, Kenny. Please believe me. My life's in danger. You must help me. Hmm? I'm pretending to play their game, see? But they want that book, Kenny, and they want it bad. The book? Oh, the book! And as I lay subconscious, I heard somebody mention diamonds. Did you read pages 9 to 12? No, they were stuck. The diamonds are a stall. If you'd read those pages, you'd know what they're playing for. I know. I did. No. Espionage. Hmm? They're after our military secrets. It's your military secret? Type no. What are you talking about? There's blueprints hidden in that book I gave you. Plans of our country's defenses. The book itself is from hunger. What? Racing? 
That ain't a book of horse tips. What? Horse tips? Of course not, darling. Oh, and all along I thought it was... Those men are spies. Huh? That's why the FBI placed me here to expose them. And you must help me. Oh, gosh. Shh. Whisper. They're in the next room. Huh? Oh, I'm so scared. Hold me closer. Hmm. Do you like me better without my glasses? Hmm. This ain't happening to me, is it? You've only got a minute to kiss me. Yeah, but I do... When I wake up, she'll be gone like a mist. Then why wake up? What's your name? Elspeth. Then who's the queen of diamonds? My twin sister. Then what happened to your twin sister? Whatever happens to twin sister? Then who are you? The librarian. Oh, I didn't get it the first time. The mob only thinks I'm the Queen of Diamonds because I'm identical, see? I see. With my sister, I know. I get you. They'll kill me when they find out. Whoa. But I can't go away till my duty's done, get it? Yeah. That's why I have to move fast. That's why you've got to help me. Do you want to? Why, sure, Elspeth. To save your country? Sure, but how? We've got to catch these crooks red-handed. Red-handed. Smoke them out. That's why we've got to let them get hold of that book so we can blow the whistle on them the... and call in the FBI. Now, where is it? Where is that book? You sure it ain't a horse sister? Absolutely not. Then how account for little red? Must have got in by mistake somehow. Hmm. Well, are you a patriot? Are you with me? Think of the fun we could have together. Oh, I'm with you, Elspeth. Oh, you darling. Well, now, where is it? Where is it now? Blintz's. What's that? A pal. He swiped it from me at the bookie joint. Blintz's Malloy. Blintz's Malloy. Yeah. Now, Kenny, no matter what I say or do, trust me. I trust you. All right, boys, come on out. What's in there? The tip And how? Come on, we're all on our way over to see Blintz's Malloy. This is Jeffrey Barnes again. In just a moment, we'll bring you Act Three of Kenny Angles and the Queen of Diamonds. Now, a word from George Putnam. Every day, more and more people are discovering that to get real relief from the most common kind of dandruff, they must destroy the germ called Pity Ross Valley, which many outstanding authorities say is its cause. You see, merely washing or brushing away loose dandruff has no effect whatsoever on this germ. But one thing that does work is double dandrine, for double dandrine actually kills this germ on contact. Even in severe cases, results with double dandrine have been amazing. And the reason for double dandrine's astonishing effectiveness is a special ingredient, an active antiseptic so remarkably efficient many hospitals use it. In double dandrine, we call it Alzan. So stop trying to combat this dandruff with ineffective methods that actually are no better than plain water. That can't compare with double dandrine, for double dandrine destroys the cause. If you're not completely satisfied, you'll get your money back. Get double dandrine tomorrow. Oh, come on, Blintzes. What did you do with that book you cut for me? What did you do with it? Whom are these characters with you, Kenny? Never mind. What did you do with it? The book on racing? The book on racing. I sold 122 pages, and then Itchy Finnegan snatched it from me. Oh. Come on now, Itchy. What did you do with that book? Belongs to my friends here. Tell you the truth, Kenny. I paid her 200 pages. Business was going like hotcakes. And Crypto Grimes ran off with the book. <laughs> So help me, Kenny. There was only the cover and three pages left by the time it fell into my hand. Ask your friend what three pages, Kenny? Search me, sister. I can't even read. Anyhow, they was pasted together. What did you do with those three pages? Sold it for a deuce. To who? To a mouthpiece I know by name Alexander Farfel. My lawyer! You sure this is where Farfel lives, Kenny? Sure, Elspeth. Right here. A little bit chappy. Or else... Shh. All right, boys. Get set for some fast work. The book is ours, see? Ring the bell. You're all covered. What? What's the lady? All right, men. Prisoners. <laughs> Won't you wait right here, Mr. Farfel? Walk into my parlor, said the spider to the Queen of Diamonds. You got me, Inspector, but can you keep me? Queen of Diamonds? Elspeth! Dry up, funny brain! I thought you'd come for the Diamonds, Queen, but you see, I had the same idea, so I came one step ahead to welcome you with pages 9 to 12. Diamonds? Pages 9 to 12? 
<laughs> Who else but such dirty fool? Uh, hello, Angles. Hello, Inspector. I knew you'd lead us to your boss. My boss? Very clever, Queen, getting a job at the public library. Then she ain't identical. Shut up, you, you arch criminal. Me? Now, who would have thought to case a library for stolen jewels? Oh, Inspector, Inspector Macy, my golly, I, I hope you don't think that I had anything to... Run out of angles, Kenny. Well, men, we've rounded up the whole Queen of Diamonds gang. Take them away. Oh, no! hey, wait! This is terrific! Where's my lawyer? Where's Mr. Farfel? Take him away! Throw him in the clink! <laughs> So you're like my lawyer, Mr. Farble, so I'm telling you, like he said, do something. It's all your fault. After all, you advised me to go drop in the library to stay out of trouble. My gosh, it shouldn't happen to a dog. Mr. Farble, this time I'm really on the spot. They're going to chop me up a hamburger, you hear? For hamburger. Crying out loud, do something. Only I don't see what you can do for me. Because you had the book. Inspector thought you were involved, too, and now you're my cellmate. Mr. Farble... Don't just sit there with your head in your hands. Say something. Kenny Angles, commit suicide. The original music for the Mystery Theater is composed and conducted by Alexander Sandler. Kenny Angles and the Queen of Diamonds was written by Joseph Ruskall and starred Carl Eastman. Elspeth Eric and Ralph Bell were featured in tonight's performance. Any similarity between the names and characters used on this show and any actual persons, living or dead, is purely coincidental. Maybe you haven't thought about it, but when you're too tired, you get depressed, apprehensive. You have two strikes on you from the start. Now, if you're often that tired and pale besides, your doctor may find you have a borderline anemia, resulting from a ferronutritional blood deficiency. In that case, take ironized yeast tablets. They help build up your strength by building up your red blood cells. So take ironized yeast tablets to get back your energy, your enthusiasm, your healthy color. Ask for ironized yeast tablets. And now this is Dan Seymour again saying good night until next week at this same time when the Mystery Theater presents To the End of the World. This is NBC, the National Broadcasting Company.